Play Collective. I put out everybody's sign on the table today, Collective. Okay. I'm gonna pull one of these cards. I'm gonna pull one card for every sign. This might be a long reading. It might be about a hour and a half or something, but it'll be all right. Okay, so I got Aries. I don't, I'm not for sure if you can see it in my camera. It, it doesn't look like you can from my side over here, but I don't, I've not paid attention. But so it's every sign there's Aries right here before Taurus. What's for Aries? Receive and accept the gift, Aries. Oh, you're accepting this gift for us. Oh, Taurus, you need to be stand your ground and be self-confident, okay? Gemini, you gotta stand up for your gifts, Gemini. Exploration. Step outside your boundaries. Cancer, grace. Every, every one of us is connected. Okay, hang on. Let me... What about for Leo, Spirit? Independence on your own. I'll tell you what it thinks, what I think it's saying in a minute. Oh. So, uh, Virgo Digest, truth, let it show. Libra, balance, conundrum up in the air. Scorpio, shit, Scorpio went judgmental. <laughs> That's funny. Judgment come out on Scorpio. Uh, judgment, investigation, judgmental, observe your, your critic. Sagittarius. Uh, fullness, give thanks. Capricorn, achieve. Cautious, beware of dogs. <laughs> Aquarius. Aquarius, spirit. Aquarius. Surprise, oh my God. Pisces, sensitive. Trust, take the leap. <laughs> okay, so what it's saying is, it says, uh, be open to receiving this gift of yours out here, collective. Uh, stand up for your beliefs. You, and stand your ground to people that picks with you. You can pick right back, okay? Uh, you know, some of you could have a Taurus that won't, likes to pick at you, you know, or... Or uh, maybe uh, a, a Taurus thinks you're picking at them, but you know, stand your ground. And then, and then Gemini exploration, step outside your boundaries. So you know, Gemini is the twin. So you're exploring. Uh, you, you're 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 uh, crossing you, the uh, your boundaries that you made for yourself because every one of us is connected. That's what cancer says. You know, you got to be independent on your own. You know, and let it show. Let let your truth show, you know. And and uh, stop living up in the air, up in the head, in a conundrum, okay? Learn to balance yourself. Learn to balance out your brain and, and learn to focus on something that will actually help you, okay? And Scorpio, investigate, judgmental, observe your critic. And all that's saying is, uh, notice to what you're critical about in yourself and stop being judgmental of yourself, okay? And uh, Sagittarius, expand your mind and be grateful of everything that you have in life. Just give thanks to everybody and all, and that's how you grow full inside yourself and won't seek in others what is already inside of you, you understand? And, and beware of a dog. Uh, you, somebody could have a Capricorn that's a dog, I don't know, and it's telling you to be aware of them. Be aware of people that's shitty and you shouldn't even be th thinking about. That's what it's saying. 
Don't be up in your head and being judgmental of yourself. Give thanks for what you do have. And, and your somatic can talk about dogs and uh, how they'll uh, they'll try to fit. You know, Aquarius co collaborate. They'll try to fit their self in your life at all costs. They don't care. They're dogs. Surprise! Oh my God! Oh, Aquarius, you're getting ready to get a surprise or any of these signs out here. And the surprise is a truth. They're going to let their truth out to you, Aquarius. And you're going to have to trust and go on this path. That's what it says for Pisces. See, I like that card. You got to take that damn leap now. You got to trust. <laughs> All right. And become whole. Become all that you are. Become whole with yourself and be good with yourself. You know what I mean? It gets me. Whoa, whoa. Well, I'm going to pull out one card for all these signs. And I'm using this horror tarot because it's uh, close to Halloween and it's cool for stuff like this. Oh, and for Aries, received a gift. And uh, King of Swords come out. So, so uh, maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, uh, this Aries wants to take action towards a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, he's he's been chopping off the heads of people he had to see. Swords is bloody. He's got his eye on you. See that eye? He's watching you. He's watching you accept these gifts and and people's and uh you're he's wanting you to receive a gift from him um and taurus he's going to stand his ground and be confident enough to tell you that he wants to build with you you know cultivate he wants to uh, build a life with you he wants to share finances it comes to light that you're both supposed to come together to be a joy and success you know look at that creepy joker clown seymour but this is uh you know the best card in the deck uh joy happy success be happy inside yourself and gemini expo exploration step outside your boundaries three of swords heartbreak betrayal um, you've been, you've been guarded, you know, and you're learning how to come out of your shell at the moment. You're, you're, you're accepting that it's okay to explore outside of the boundaries that you set for yourself sometimes. Maybe somebody was trying, uh, making you fearful, but this is a third party situation also. Maybe, uh, this... There's a third party wanting you to come towards them. Okay? It come to light because they're, they're watching you. That's why that come out. Grace, everyone is connected. Nine of Swords. So, um, maybe this cancer is up in their head or any of these signs out here on the table, but it landed on cancer, but... Maybe uh, this cancer feels your pain or you can feel this cancer's pain. Maybe you're all both empaths or something and they're going to reach out and and uh, tell you how much they appreciate you. Oh, I love that. And I love you, cancer, if that's somebody wanting to do that to me. Uh, but anyway, somebody wants to tell you it's all right all of us has went through this heartbreaking betrayal there's no use to stay stuck up in your mind okay but maybe it's cancer stuck up they can't stop it just keeps replaying and replaying over in their mind you know it oh and it said independence on your own the hermit yeah because leo's under that yeah your leos are very boisterous joyous people you know what i'm saying they're they're this they're this sunlight you know what i'm saying uh they uh they like being independent and they learned somebody did that they had that that deer and hermit mode has made them a very independent person maybe you're purchasing a home see that home 
but uh, somebody can't stop thinking about you at your house. They, they're driving by. They're driving by watching you. See his little eyes? Look, somebody's watching you now. They're spying. They're spying in your window. See? Ooh, look. Ooh, it's creepy, creepy house. Somebody is trapped up in their house, maybe. That's the truth now. Let it show. I said it's the truth. It's the truth. Virgo's, Virgo's digesting this truth because you're letting it show to him or her. Uh, and uh, you, they're gaining clarity. They're gaining clarity at the moment now. All right. And Libra, up in your head. Stay out of your damn head, Libra. Libra, quit climbing up them damn walls in your head and learn to live from your heart. Oh, and here's King of Pentacles. Oh, God, and this woman's looking up at this hairy damn wolf man. This is a damn, what's him called? A werewolf. Look how big that son of a bitch is of this woman. Maybe you've been feeling small to this person. Look at him. He's like towering over you like, I'm going to get you. Don't you think you can get away? I'm trapping you. She's trying to go out towards the sunlight, and he's like, no, I'm trapping you in. He's trapping you in your head. He's trapping you in your head, in your own head. Get quit thinking about it. That person's thinking about you. You're going to have to do a cord cutting attachment <laughs> and get you a red candle. Are you listening? Or a brown one so you can uh, uh, cut them at root attachment they're trying to grow to you. Somebody's investigating this and uh, all this judgment. Oh, and they know that this Page of Cups wants to pop up, pop on over and jump on over to you and tell you something. And they're wanting to do it at Halloween. That's why I did these cards for you, Collective, because I know a couple of you in the Collective has been wondering about Halloween. So, judgmental. Observe how you criticize your own self and this person, maybe. Um, what about give thanks or... Who was this sign? Oh, yeah, that was Scorpio. And this one is Sagittarius. Expand your mind and give thanks, Sagittarius. Hang on, I didn't give too many cards. What What else does Sagittarius need to know about they need to be thankful for? Oh, the star. They're going to give thanks to you, star, because you helped them so much now. They know, and maybe you're a star, Sagittarius, but I don't know. Um... Maybe someone has been studying the occult, you know, like I do. You know, that's what these cards are. It's his tarot. Or somebody might have been doing a Ouija board on you. Maybe somebody's somebody's looking in to somebody. Somebody's finding out information on you, Star. Are you listening? Whatever signs land on this table, whatever sign in the Zodiac is, take the story as it is, but... Someone's being watched because look at the cat. They're finding out information. They're investigating you. They're investigating you. Oh, be cautious. Capricorn achieve. Beware of dogs. Meaning, uh, use discernment because somebody's just wanting to play with you. Oh, and the high priestess, you are cautious, and you, you know about damn dogs. Maybe you like me. I'm an Aquarius. I got Capricorn. You know, I'm, I'm from Uranus and Saturn. And uh, I can talk about dogs and how fucking dogs do you and being treated like dog shit. Yeah, I can talk about all that. I've lived a hard, rough life, but I'm thankful to God that... Um, my life, I don't live it like that anymore, y'all. I'm calm and mellow in my old age. You understand what I'm saying? Me and my partner, you know. And sometimes he might want to get wild or something. I had to talk him back down. I had to talk him off the ledge, and that's what I do. I help talk y'all off the ledge and say, no, you can't jump off the cliff. You can't go acting crazy and howling it up in the moon and trying to act big and pop up on somebody acting crazy. You can't do that, okay? You can't make people feel small. And nobody's going to do that to me because I always tell on them before they can do it. And surprise, oh my God, Aquarius. What's for surprise, oh my God, Aquarius? Before that, uh, Spirit said. Six of Wands. 
Surprise, Aquarius. You're going to have a victory and success. You're going to have accolades in the community. Somebody uh, knows that you're doing good work for humanity, Aquarius, and, and they love you. And that's why you're getting ready to be surprised. Some, some, a surprise. You're getting ready to have a surprise. Maybe you're becoming a star overnight. You're becoming a star overnight. You saw through this. You knew you would, but it's getting ready to pop off. People are going to see you. And they're like, yeah, that's a Aquarius. And trust, you're taking that leap now, Pisces. You're, you, you let out all them sensitive emotions. See that cat in the moon? See the cat in the moon and then look at high priestess in the moon, you know. You know when somebody's lying to you. Trust that you're going to receive a lot of wealth. You're going to be a star, baby. And when you are a star, baby, y'all better remember me. Because I'll remember you, all star babies, when I'm a star. I love you guys. And, and you know, this is about you uh, taking a leap and building your family legacy. You're doing it. So, uh, so a quick way, what it's saying is, uh, this person has their eye on you, collective, whoever it is you're inquiring on. Yeah, they got their eye on you. They're, they're, uh, trying to play their cards right at the moment because they know that, uh, you've been heartbroke many, many times and they might have even heartbroke you, made you heartbreak. And made you be uh, delusional or something. It's caused you a lot of mental anguish, you know, it, inside of this house. That's the truth. That's the truth. That this this person wanted to keep you feeling that way. It wanted to keep you feeling trapped. They didn't want you to go towards the light. They wanted to. Uh, they wanted. They wanted you stuck up with them. They didn't want you to uh, to uh, notice this, though. They they didn't want you to realize that that's what was really going on, is that this big person, this person that acts like a bully, they didn't want you to leave. They know that you're going to blow up. You're just going to pop goes the weasel. Pop, 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 pop goes the weasel. They know their judgment is any time, any day, you're going to be a fucking star, and you're going to have lots of offers of love. And, and you're going to turn and walk away. See how she ain't paying no mind to the little devil gargoyle anymore, yeah. Because she done found out some information. See the scroll in her hand? Yeah, she done found out. She she understood it. She she That was good that she is cautious because that was a fucking dog. That dog. That was a dog. And you're going to have accolades in a community and a surprise of wealth is coming to you. Oh, thank you. I'm a star. It's coming to me, too. Huh? Thank you, guys. Oh, wow. And, oh, wow, Sagittarius. Ain't that something? Ooh, Emperor. Ooh, Emperor. Emperor's watching you. That's who's watching you. Yeah, he's watching you. He, he sees wish fulfillment with you. That's what, this is what's coming to light. Are you listening? This is my clarity, the in-betweens. He come to light to him. He knows that, uh, he, uh, that uh, you're heartbroken without him. And he knows that these people is being like goons and spying on you. And, and you can't come towards him. You can't run towards the what you love because... They put a, they place something on you to feel like a damn mommy. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just doing whatever somebody else was telling you. They wanted you to feel like that inside your house. They did not want you to become the empress. That's the truth. They did not want you to be independent. They did not want you to be independent. They did not want you to grow this business inside of your house. That's the truth. And that's what, uh, it's Virgo's understanding about this, Leo. Huh? They're understanding because uh, you're not worried about what's all around or this or that, the t'other. That's the truth. You you don't you know that you have a lot of options, but you was choosing this person to stay under their control. That's why you're you're getting ready to be blowed up. So. Uh, you can leave this tradition. Look, look how this tradition is holding you back. See how it's holding you back. 
Oh, wow. And look here, Knight of Cups. You're chopping off the damn heads of everybody's star. You had to do this. You had to let it, you had to let it out. You had to let it out now, baby. You have to give thanks for it. Yeah, I thank it. Th thank you, spirit guides, for showing me who the true dog what is. And and I knew you was going to. It was going to feel like a surprise, but it's okay. They're trying to keep. They're my been trying to put you in a casket for good. You understood. They're trying to keep you in a casket for good, and they didn't want you to be victorious. They wanted you to be broke down and what. They want you to be dead. They want to. They they're overshadowing you. They they did a, You you gotta let your. You gotta get out of this. Be scared to get out of the shadow shit. Are you listening? This is what you learned. You got to come out of this. You gotta come out of this right here, mommy. You gotta get out of this way of being stuck in this. House in this box, being like a mommy, something dead, and you gotta run towards this cup of this love, which is this emperor that can't keep his eyes off of you. He loves you. He loves you so big now, baby. He only wants you, and ain't you figured out? He only wants you. Oh, this one was up there, wasn't it? But uh, what was that one? Oh, that was nine of pentacles, but you're coming out of the coffin. It, you're building your wealth. You're building your legacy. You are going to be a success. Don't you worry, babies. Your porty damn head's off now. Let's do twin flame cards. Did y'all want to do twin flame cards? Spirit, would you please help us with the collector today, a message, a twin flame message. Oh, hesitation. Past heart broke. Broken trust. Afraid to move forward. That's what this emperor knows. He knows that your your trust has been broken uh, in this marriage. He, he feels your energy is positive and you're raising your vibes to attract him. Oh, God. He knows you're doing it now. Bye-bye. Oh, God. Winter, you feel... You're going to feel out in a cold, but your answers is arriving in winter. Oh, God. You're feeling it in a winter. This big vibe to go get your love. It's coming back to you now, baby. Oh, God. And it's fall. It'll be winter soon now. It'll be winter soon now. Okay? What else? Mask going... Oh, God. He's seeking you. He's seeking you out. Don't tell collective. Oh, and if you love me and what I said, please hit it. Hit like and tell me something. Oh, God. In the winter, his, his answer's arriving to him, and he's coming towards you. Your twin or soulmate is seeking you this spring. Oh, so about four, five or six more months, your love is going to bloom into this beautiful flower. And you're going to say, I love you, pal, because you said that it would, and it's happening. And I'm going to say, I told you, collective, I love you. You're going to say, I love you, Pam, and you're so true. Oh, God, and, and you have an answers arriving twice. Oh, God, the one in the wintertime, he's going to come give you some love, and and uh, he's going to tell you something. He's going he's gonna to leave you a present at Christmas, and in the spring, he's coming to he's coming to deflower you. Ooh, he's deflowering you, you collective. You know what that means? Oh, God, Chaser, he's in pursuit convincing rejection let them go and let it be oh god he said he's tired of shit let all that shit go we're running and chasing he's so down tired of this shit now he wants to come inside you is what he's a want now oh god he but he was unawakened and that's why he was a that's why he was a uh, feeling like you would reject him you know but you was in pursuit of him because uh you you didn't let go of that or, uh, ego, and now you have. You know that your twin flame wasn't ready. You know you know that they wasn't ready. They had a karmic contract that they had to finish. Forgive, tranquility, peace of mind, 
heart freedom from the past. Oh, God. He's going to forgive you. He's going to forgive everything from the past. He feels love with you. He is going, he's learning to follow his intuition. He's going to forgive you about this feeling Confucius mindset. And, uh, because, uh, he liked the faith. He, 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 he liked the faith in it, this masculine did. And, uh, he wanted to said that he was stuck by, within this third party relationship. He was settling to say stuck or you were settling to, to say to stay stuck you uh outcome results conclusion ending you're going to get a resolution about all this stuckness it's coming to you uh why you're going to you're going to realize why you've been feeling this stuck and and you wasn't believing that you deserved the fucking best you had to uh, look beyond the superficial and take that damn mask off. That's what you had to do. You have to do that. What's the outcome in spring with masculine? I love you, spirit. Marriage. Marriage. This is a legal partnership commitment. Marital bond and societal contract. He's fucking marrying you. He wants to marry you in the spring. Oh, God, he wants to fucking marry you in the spring. That's his damn belief now. His belief is you're all already connected on the fifth dimension, and, and you all learned how to compromise, and he knows you was the runner. I mean, he knows he is the runner, and you was the chaser, or he was a chaser, and you was the runner. Whichever way it is, he knows, and he knows that y'all had to heal him family issues because you was in a karmic cycle. You had to transform during your time alone. Uh... You had to have some downtime with your family so you could release all this old ways and release this other person from your life so your creativeness could flow and and you you had because you you're letting your guard down at fall. You you was living in regrets of loss. You was worried about loss, you know. But you're ready for a new experience. You're waiting on divine timing. You knew that it was a no at that point in time. Uh, you knew that it was, you had, you had to plant some new seeds and that's why you're getting blessed for it. You're getting blessed for it because you was just want to control the situation and you had to get out of that mindset and you had to start going after your goals and you and your soulmate has big goals. You all know how to help heal these inner childhood wounds with people because you all are true twin flames. You all are true twin flames that's went through so much bullshit that well, I've went through a lot of shit. Y'all know what collective and you all have two out here. But you know that all this solitude would help you rise above so the fucking answer would be yes. Because you had to stop living in that split energy and heal. Heal this home life shit. Someone's observing this romance and that you're in denial. You're always mirroring and you need to ascend. The mystery is this sacred space is telling you to let go of fear. Know that you are worthy because you're going through an awakening. You just had to pause and, and and cut this karmic partner out of your life. They appreciate all this balance you broke, bring. They read something in your journal. They're offering. They're going to offer you something, feminine. It's this hidden pipe. It's your all sacred journey to union. All these lessons helped you to receive this new love and fresh start. You're going to have money. You, but you just had to go through this. Uh, you had to focus on your own happy during this summer. You, they, they couldn't stop thinking about you. They was wanting to come towards you because they already see this potential. And you helped change their mind about feeling lost and just surrender it all to the divine in summer. You helped his mind to see he had to surrender all that, okay? <laughs> That's what it is, collective. Okay, let me let me get a message. Now, if this part don't go, you all don't let it bother. I, I'm going to use these little cards. Let me get some of these little cards. Hang on, you guys. Yeah, they've come to snap the rooster. I'm just picking from here and there, okay?
Yeah, here comes the rooster. What is it that the collective needs to know? Collective, remember, if one of these little messages don't go with this story, don't let it ruin the whole story. It did for somebody, okay? Because I'm supposed to reach a lot of down people. I'm supposed to reach millions of people. I know I am. I have a kind of healing power. Oh, nobody ain't got no time for Petty Betty's bullshit no more. No more Petty Betty. <laughs> That's funny for me. That's funny for me. Everybody that knows me know that's funny for me. Put your feet in the dirt today. Oh, God. Go outside, collective, and put your damn feet in the dirt. And just feel of it. and Say, ooh, it feels good. And I'm glad I can do it because it ain't winter yet. Okay? So, we need to do it today. I'm going to go do it, too. I'm going to go do it, too. Right here as soon as I'm done. That'll feel good, I think. I think dirt feels cold and it feels good. Oh, and somebody is down and out in the dumps out in the collective they're getting karma, somebody is. They're losing things left and right. This Petty Betty, if you know somebody named Betty, maybe it's them. Oh, uh, they put cameras up to spy on you. They knew you were a loyal, dedicated, hardworking woman. Well, I'll tell you right now, Betty, if you did that shit to me, you dumb bitch, I'll tell you right now, you'll go down too because the laws listens to my channel. <laughs> oh, wow. What else did it say? You can't be me, deceased friend. Uh, you're, somebody's deceased friend is saying this woman is trying to be you. Fuck you, bitch. You can't be me. You can't be me. You're going to go to jail if you put cameras in my house. And my collective said you're going to jail too, whoever the hell you are. You don't name, you know, you don't have to be Betty, but you're a damn petty pussy. I know that. They want to lure you outside to kill you. Somebody wants to lure someone outside to kill you, but your deceased friend helps you. Yes, I'm telling the truth. Yes, they put cameras in to spy on you. You loyal, dedicated, hardworking woman. They a low down, dirty cunt. They put cameras on this business owner. Are you listening to that, detective in a collective, whoever you are? Are you listening, detective? I ain't found one, but when I do, you stupid bitch, you're going to go down, but Angel's got my back. And my collective's back out here. All of us business owners, the angels got our backs. All of us good ones, the ones that ain't stealing and shit. They got our back. The ones that's doing that, you're going down. That's what that means. Oh, God. And you're a warm and safe place. And, uh, yes, this man, someone's man in the collective has an illegitimate child. Or someone's woman has a child that isn't really their man's. It's somebody else's. Oh, and it says, if you feel love, then it's true love. What should I do now? What should I do now? Uh, if it's if it feels like love, then you could, should go towards love. That's what I'm telling you. Somebody's got a kid out here, and you don't know about it, woman. Uh, a warrior from a past life. This is what I am. Angels got our backs. Warriors from past life. Yes, business owners, they do. Because we're loyal and dedicated. And we work so damn hard for what we want. We're getting a proposal. I told you it's coming. Do you fucking believe me? Yes. Proposal, yes. I love you. Yes. That's Aries. Yes. That was the first one. Come out. That's the one wanting to do a proposal. Yes. But it can be any of them signs, okay? It's Aries, Taurus, Cusper, maybe. What else? Oh, wowdy woody, you're serving humanity with humility. That's why that divine asshole wants to put a ring on that finger. And uh, he is sad that y'all didn't come together yet. And she is sad that y'all didn't come together yet. Being in my collective. Proposal marriage. Oh, wow, I love you, spirit. Spirit, you're so good. And I love you. You're, you're just the most amazing i ever seen. Huh? <laughs> You've learned of many things. Angels got your back. They love you. Reconcile. Reconciliation. Yes, you're all reconciliating. And you're all getting married. I love this collective. Your input is correct. You've got loyal support from this person. They fucking love you. Deceased friend said, these people can't be you. They try to be and they're so dumb. They're mad because you got a marriage proposal coming. Oh, wow, when I tell y'all to use your lavender, it helps. Use your lavender, it helps cleanse your energy. 
And I love you, collective, and I try to help us. And choose love over the mind. The divine will applaud you up in heaven. Use that lavender and choose that love tonight. Yes, so y'all can send back to heaven. Yes, you need to reconcile. Yes, 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 because someone wants to bury us. Someone wants to bury you and me out here, collective. They are soul snatcher hijackers. That's who these people are. This stupid, petty, betty, bullshit, pussy, whoever it is. Whoever that stupid mother sucker is that put cameras in your house, they're going to go down. <laughs> they're going down. And woman, she's a woman that uses men for money. Yeah, that's what that bitch is. You're going down. That ain't me. I don't use men for money. You can ask my man. I do not fucking do that. Uh-uh. I've left before. I tried to leave before, and I left every fucking penny I had. And he come and got me. Are you listening, collective? Keep both eyes on a prize. Divine Masculine knows it's true what I just said, don't you, Divine Masculine? You know. Oh, Divine Masculine's learning a new trade, Divine Feminine. You need to learn one, too. Break free from stuff that you don't need in your life. Somebody is being a sneaking, cunning, sly fox. This woman is that uses men for money. That's trying to be me. She's clever you need to cleverly plan your own fucking life and stop looking at my life quit being stupid whoever you are because that's dumb if you're doing that revealing all the toxic people you need to walk away from oh that's why i'm mad that's why i collect it that's all it is that's all that's all it is grim reapers taking somebody's soul this peel head junkie they, they, there's a breakdown of communication going on. You're ready to go out to your dreams. Huh? You're breaking down it really well, what you're needing to communicate. Loves your stunning beauty. They fucking love you. It's peelhead, that bitch. She's trying to steal your soul, and she gets on here and looks high as hell. If I look high, it's because I smoked that little pipe I done told you. Oh, they're going to reveal they're confessing their love to you. Yes, that man loves you. The vine mice one loves you. He's choosing to get out of his head. He knows that this bitch is getting her payback good. They paid a narc off to befriend you. That was Petty Betty. Look at our law. Paid that narc Petty Betty to befriend. Cause it, 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 and thieves all around. That was nothing but a thief, and I know it. I know it. And demons be possessed. Deceased ain't. Said, uh, stop holding grudges people you better stop holding grudges people with this chosen one they're saying how now brown cow stop being idiots <laughs> spirit you're funny that was my brother spirit said stop holding grudges all oh, people that didn't do nothing to you that's why how now brown cow come out idiots i love you ain't sue <laughs> that's funny as shit oh something about sexual harassment red flag divorce something about that Something about somebody's got to get a fucking divorce and get away from all these toxic son of a bitches peoples and quit. Don't worry about the son of bitches so you can be no stress and be magical twins. Yes, you're magical twins. Yes, they're going to reveal their love to you. You and them learned a little bitty things. You're going to reconcile. Angels got your back. You're warriors from past lives. You're meant to be business owners with no stress. They love your beauty. Break free from these people. Your input's correct. You've got loyal support. You got, and, and they know you're cleverly planning your life, and they're sad that y'all ain't together. It be warm and safe. They're wondering what they should do now. They're feeling your love. They know you need to divorce this idiot with all these red flags. It's sexual harassment. We're getting ready to go after our dreams in the court. And this man had an illegitimate child, illegitimate child. And I was saying, how now, brown cow? You need to, to communicate about that and stop holding grudges to me. And your thief whore, she's possessed. And we know you paid narcs to be a soul jacker, hijacker. But you're bullcraps, Betty bullcraps. Bitch is getting her payback good. Gonna bury you in the dirt today, you cunning fly snot, 
Cody Sly Fox, you're going down. I know you use people for money. and You can't be me, bitch. Deceased ain't helps me. She said, get away from me, you pillhead junkie. Grim Reaper's getting your ass. I keep both eyes on the prize. Lavender helps bring this proposal of marriage. And stop feeling out in the dumps, your deceased friend said. Learn a new trade. Serve humanity. Because <laughs> uh, we're revealing to you that somebody was put cameras to spy on you. And they was trying to kill you. They wanted you to lose your whole life. And, and the divine will applaud you when you choose love. So, uh, and they're going to applaud you in heaven because you've been loyal, dedicated, working to this new life, and they appreciate you, and they love you. That's what it meant, Collective. All right, Collective. Well, I hope this helped y'all today. My throat hurts, and I believe that's enough messages, Collective. It's pretty good now, isn't it? All right, I love you, Collective. I'm going to get off here. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. That's that's all I'm doing. I'm done. And I love you guys. I love you, Divine Masculine. And I, I appreciate you. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And Divine Feminines, I hope y'all do too. And I hope you all trust and don't be afraid to move forward. And I believe it's getting ready to happen here soon. All right, peace.